Welcome to the video demonstration for LivePong. LivePong is a generative sequencer built in Max for Live. This is the device here. It lets you generate MIDI notes that will trigger a instrument in Live. Um, the main way we interact with the device is this square area here. So we just make sure Live is playing. Just click anywhere with the mouse and we generate a cell and the cell moves back and forth or up and down in a ping pong style, hence the name. Whenever the cell hits the left or right column or the top or bottom row, it generates a note. Where it gets more interesting is if we have more than one cell active, so we can click again and you'll see they bounce off each other changing their direction. Okay, so globally we can change the timing of live pong so we can make it faster, slower. We can choose the velocity of each note that's being generated, the length and the chance. So the chance is the chance that a, note, a cell will change its direction when it comes into uh, contact or it collides with another cell. So at this point 100% means they will always change their direction. Zero, they'll just run through each other and then anywhere in between and you start to get more varied uh, degrees of whether they're going to actually collide and change direction or not. Okay, we can change the direction of, any of the cells. We can randomize the cells. This changes the current location of the active cells. If we've made some settings in global mode, uh, we can use them in cell mode. So cell mode, if we click here, cell mode is where we can apply the same settings per cell. So I could take the first one and make it fast, but less chance of it bouncing. The second one I could change the velocity, the third one I could make quite slow again change the chance. LivePong was designed to be used with Live's MIDI effects. One of the most important MIDI effects to use is the scale effect. This will force any notes generated by LivePong into a, a scale that's uh, going to work for the project you're in and it gives you access to all of the scale presets available. You can turn scale off and if you want to edit the notes coming straight out of LivePong we can do that. Click edit notes and we see this grid and this allows us to choose which notes are being generated by LivePong. We can either click and drag up and down to choose the notes or we can set a minimum and a maximum note range and then we can populate these note numbers either sequentially or randomly. effect to use with live pong is the random effect to create different variations in pitch make sure you put it before the scale effect and also add some random I'm using this preset this is the velocity effect we add some random 
preset this will vary the velocities coming out of light pong before it gets to the instrument over here. So light pong can be even more interesting when you have a, a couple of instances of it running in live. So I have a second one here. third one which is triggering a drum rack and I've varied a few of the settings here for some of the different cells. So you can have eight cells in total. You can turn them off here and then clicking in again on this square area will reactivate any inactive cells. Once all cells are active, clicking in this area regenerates one of the previous cells starting at 1 from the new area. Like so. This means you can still interact with live pong as it's playing. 